Good evening. I'm here to present the Impact and Integrity Award powered by Dow Jones Sports Intelligence. There's been a lot of great news over the last 12 months, but also some really disturbing news in sport. I spent way too much of the last 12 months on TV being interviewed about incidents in sport where integrity has failed and duty of care has been all too absent. It's felt at times like sport is careening away from its promise with tragic consequences for participants and for its reputation. What has been amazing to witness, however, is the way that these challenges have been met by athletes who have found their voice. Athletes who have become like modern day Smiths, Carloses, and Ali's in their own way. No longer willing to sit on the sidelines of important social issues within or outside of sport, and no longer cowed by those in sport who still delusionally think that sport and politics don't mix. They speak up, they stand up to be counted, and indeed they, indeed they kneel in order that they can take their rightful role and meet their promise as meaningful role models in sport and society. We've had, we've had athletes who've used their bodies and their public profiles as billboards for social justice and their courage has made sport and the world a little bit better. They've raised awareness of tragedies in society, and within sport, they've helped us all see how some of our sports have not done their job in terms of duty of care. The athletes who are nominated for this Impact and Integrity Award are remarkable people who have bravely sacrificed and indeed continue to exhibit extraordinary courage. They don't do this to damage sport. They've dedicated their lives to sport. They do it to fully realize their responsibility as a role model and to reinstate a sense of integrity in sport where it's been lost. Many athletes have acted with great principle but at great cost to themselves, their careers and indeed their personal privacy and dignity, facing a barrage of commentators who think they should sit down and be grateful, that they should stick to selling shoes or in the words of one Fox News commentator, should just shut up and dribble. A category like this that forces us to look at some of the uglier sides of sport can make us feel impotent, like we can't do anything. Some of the issues we're facing in sport are so huge and sometimes so horrifying that we can feel like we don't have the power to do anything, especially from a distance. But we must take our lead from the athletes who found their voice over the last 12 months and more, like the one we're celebrating tonight. And we must hold the sports that we love, that we govern, and that we partner with to account. We've got to challenge them to be congruent to those brilliant values they have on their websites, the promises they make to our participants and indeed to our communities. We don't do this by scanning the horizon and looking for the, the massive incidents, waiting for the massive incidents before we act. We do this by paying attention every time there's a tiny, tiny indiscretion. If we do that, that's the way we're going to be able to stop sports from letting us down. The winner of the Impact and Integrity Award, powered by Dow Jones Sports Intelligence, is Rachel Den Hollander, the first woman to publicly accuse Larry Nasser of sexual abuse. It's important to note Rachel was not the most high-profile gymnast to speak out, but she was the first. And after her, more than 150 athletes were empowered to speak out about the abuse that they'd suffered at the hands of that doctor. Throughout her ordeal, Rachel has been the very definition of integrity. Unfortunately, she can't be with us today because she remains embroiled in this case, but we caught up with her in America to give her a award. 